Hello, jellyfish enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting how-to video from Jellyfish Art. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of aquarium cycling, a topic that can sometimes leave hobbyists scratching their heads. But fear not, this video is here to unravel the mysteries of the cycling process and help you create a thriving home for your beloved jellyfish. Let's jump right in. The nitrogen cycle is a natural wonder that's essential for a vibrant aquarium. It involves friendly bacteria that munch on ammonia and nitrite, which is produced from jellyfish waste. These little heroes break down that waste, transforming it into less harmful compounds, ultimately resulting in nitrates, much safer for your aquatic pals. As your jellyfish feast and produce waste, they inadvertently provide a feast for these bacteria, creating a beautiful cycle reminiscent of nature itself. Monitoring a few key compounds in your aquarium is crucial. Ammonia, the first toxic byproduct from jellyfish waste and leftover food, can be harmful at high levels. Nitrite follows, which is produced when bacteria break down ammonia. It's less toxic, but still requires attention. Nitrate is the final product of this cycle. While less harmful, it still needs regular management through water changes. For easy and accurate readings, we recommend the API Saltwater Master Test Kit to keep an eye on the ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels in your aquarium. To kick off the nitrogen cycle, begin by setting up your aquarium with salt water. Next, we need to add an ammonia source to feed the bacteria we are preparing to culture. You can introduce ammonia using ammonium chloride drops or a small piece of raw shrimp from your local supermarket. Both are effective ways to get things started. If you don't have it yet, consider our Jelly Bio starter bottle, packed with the essential bacteria strains to jumpstart the cycling process. Just give it a shake and add three caps for every two gallons of water, dosing every other day until the bottle is empty. Keep a close eye on your ammonia levels every one to three days until they reach 2 ppm. When you hit that mark, stop dosing with ammonium chloride to prevent toxicity, or remove the shrimp to keep ammonia from rising further. Next, watch as ammonia decreases and nitrite levels rise. This natural biological dance can take a few weeks. Once ammonia and nitrite drop to zero and only nitrates remain, congratulations, you've successfully completed the cycling process. It's important to resist the urge to perform water changes until the cycle is fully established. This helps ensure that your beneficial bacteria can flourish and effectively manage the nitrogen cycle. The bacteria we are cultivating reproduce in the water until they find a home on the porous surface of your filter media, where they can develop and do their important work. If you're looking to speed up the process, our Skip the Cycle sponge is an excellent choice. This innovative sponge introduces beneficial bacteria that already thrive on its surface without the need for cultivation. These tiny heroes quickly break down ammonia, ensuring your jellyfish remain safe and your water ecosystem stays healthy. Both options, using the Jelly Bio Starter or the Skip the Cycle sponge, are effective. But the sponge will help you cycle your aquarium faster, so you can enjoy your jellyfish sooner. Once your cycle is complete and nitrate levels are stable, it's time to order your new jellyfish from Jellyfish Art. Then you can start regular water changes to keep nitrate levels under 40 ppm, ensuring a healthy haven for your pets. You can find the Jelly Bio Starter, the Skip the Cycle Sponge, and the API Saltwater Test Kit on our website at jellyfishart.com. Let's embark on this jellyfish adventure together. Thanks for tuning in and happy jellyfish keeping.